So it's not like, it might be because my board might not trust you, I might not trust you because of where we find ourselves, maybe somebody made you look bad, and I, we just all thought that it would be best to spare you getting involved in this or spare any other further problems, um, and we just had to just, just stop. It doesn't mean that we don't love, it doesn't mean that we don't think about you like all the time. It's just, I mean, what do you do with this? This didn't come with an instruction manual. Most people don't have to deal with this stuff. This is very extreme. And, and you know, we haven't even shared a lot of what's happened. So, um, again, we want to protect the innocent, and we're here for you. Um, I, I just don't know what to say. <laughs> what do you do? We are in such a predicament that we didn't cause. Uh, we had to disable our email online form. I don't know who's able to get through via that, but you know we're we're just not using that anymore, as far as I know. So if you see something left over from it, please let us know. Uh, beautifuls and beloveds, be very careful with with the corporations or companies you work with as third parties or affiliates because some third parties are not so scrupulous that uh, they may actually be gleaning like if you have a contact list and you use a third party service to send out blasts, e-blasts or whatever really check them out. Some are amazing but some are not so amazing and uh, you know, just just make sure um, we are currently getting away from all third-party access and third-party companies, and basically having everything be direct through through us because it's not okay. It's not okay. Um, we always check first. Hey, can we email this person? Sometimes with festivals, we will share with other festivals, and they'll share back with us. It's like, oh, we had these people; they were really great. Or you know what? These people don't quite fit our festival. Why don't you check them out? Maybe they'll work for you. And they reciprocate. Oh, that's another thing. We hashtag this a lot. Reciprocation. and the various forms of it. Uh, not that we own that word. <laughs> um, but we, we like to do that. It's not mandatory, but let me tell you something. If we have you in our festival three, four times and you never put us in, in yours, you know, just stop with that because that, that's just not okay. Because obviously we love you and we have shown that love to you. Um, and we're not necessarily saying, oh, if you were in our festival, we think that your art is uh, perfect and amazing. We just believe that it deserves access to our festival. Whether your art is wonderful and amazing, that's going to be per everybody's opinion. So we try not to be that uh, subjective. We try to be very objective. Did you meet this criteria? Um, you know, because really being subjective people just like to throw everything under that and that's why we're runners dance and all i have rose anderson hyphen kale can't dance for us anymore we're not buying that that's gotta stop so um you know that's very very important to us and i understand some people don't have vessels or a way to reciprocate well, then you can reciprocate in another way by at least mentioning my name properly and our festival properly. It's one thing, one time we couldn't fit somebody's name on the advertisement and it's just like, uh, what do we do? It's, there's this little square. So for now on, we're just gonna use Arial Narrow and really stretch it out long or squish it. That way it's like there. It's like we thought it was just better to advertise it so you can read it legibly. So that, you know, you try and you do your best. But you know, we, we, really, we really are trying so hard. I, I don't know what more we can do. Um, yeah. So beautiful and beloveds, that's, that's pretty much it in a nutshell, in a very big nutshell there. Uh, we want to do the right thing, and we hope you want to do the right thing too. We can't make you do it. Well, maybe some can be made 
to do the right thing by the government at this point. That, that's a possibility. I'm just going to be honest. Mm. So, beloveds and beautifuls, I hope that maybe in the future we can uh, pick up where we left off with the relationship. And if you're not interested, that's fine. I can turn it on and off like this, meaning I can put you back in my heart just as quickly or not as quickly or easily as possible. I can't, I can't be emotionally available like I used to because of what happened, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, if I say I love you and I respect you, that is the truth. I just can't really show it like I used to. Yeah, because people are not nice. Isn't that terrible? Wow. So uh, the board will approve this video before we post it. And um, I have a temporary stay on the board. Uh, yeah, because I get more protection apparently that way. So good. I also want to uh, say this say this too about our, our integrity program. Um, for those of you who uh, know what's going on and you have kept quiet, I would like to know why. Because here's the thing, if you were threatened in not so many words, even a hint drop threat, let us know. Um, if you know, because some people have let us know these things and they say, well, we would like to remain anonymous. I can only do so much because I have to be honest and let the government know because if there's something bad happening to you too, they need to know. Um, it's just not okay with us on any level. But I also want to know, if you knew all of this time, why did you show such hatred by keeping your mouth shut? Nobody can blame us for, oh, you knew and you said nothing. It's like, no, we're trying to. We're trying to represent everything as the facts are presenting themselves. Um, so we can't be blamed for that. And we have been saying, a lot of you know that. And we're not ashamed of what we have found out. We're, we're a little saddened and hurt by it. Because really, some of you we thought were, I don't want to say friends, like beloved, like that. But at least we thought that you were integral and respectful colleagues. We didn't think you were going to drive us to the point of having us to have to send you a cease and desist letter. It, now, you prompted that to happen, not, not us. It wasn't even a false accusation because we had all the elements. And interestingly enough, one of these people who rebutted um, said something I said in private in a legal rebut or denial letter to us. And I'm like, oh, don't do that because the government can get access to everything that we've said in private even. <laughs> And you just compare the two. And I'm like, these people are a little not, uh, how can I say? They're not thinking things through. I mean, they probably already know who and what. Uh, guys, come on. I can't say it enough. We tried by saying, okay, please just don't do this anymore. Why are you doing this? And then my board's like, don't talk to them anymore. Let us handle it. So then I let them handle it. And then my name gets sent on the cease and desist letter as if I sent it when I didn't. We have to talk to that attorney. Well, we, that attorney, mm -mm. bye. We don't play like that. We have documentation, how we operate. We have documentation, what we told this attorney. And I was like, mm-mm. We can find another. There are a dime a dozen, unfortunately. Uh, with respect to the good ones, of course. So. Oh, I must clarify. Once I said in private, and apparently the they heard it, I said, you know, I really think that's kind of cool how people are brought up together in the any industry. You know, you'll have a group, like you had the Saturday Night Live group, there's several of them, and they were all gleaned from a similar pool, and they were all lifted up kind of at the same time, and I thought, oh wow, that's really cool. What I meant by that, 
and I like things to stay within the family in a sense but what I don't like and didn't mean by any means was to be stuck in like this marketing funnel and have all this weird very negative and dangerous and uh, derogatory and sinuous and evil horrible vetting go on I don't want to be a part of that group bye we, we keep telling them to go away and they keep leaving the little hint drops because they refer to their brands and their hint drops. And I'm like, this doesn't, I mean, seriously? This doesn't make you look good. And really, we're sending all of this to the government because they're, they're gonna find out what's something and what's nothing. Like I said, some things are absolutely nothing, but we can't take chances. Look at everything that's been happening to us, yeah. So, we have a problem. And we really didn't want you guys to have a problem. So, but anyway, we don't want to be brought up in that group anymore. We can hold our own. Um, and I have to look back at everything from all these different projects that I was asked to be involved with or was involved with and where these projects actually ended up. And I'm like, that's interesting, that's interesting, that's interesting, there's a connection, connection, possible connection there, what is this? Yes, my friends, and that is why we now have our art integrity. You made us do it. It's, a, it's amazing how adversity causes you to do good things. It should, it should cause you to do good things. I do have a question. Why does everybody want me gone? I haven't done a damn thing to anybody except help. And you all know this because we have evidence of it. We have written, verbal, video. We have so much. I didn't do anything to y'all. If you can say, hey, she did this, this, and this to me, I want to see that evidence and I want to make sure it's authentic. I'm pretty damn sure you don't have any of that because we are so good at documenting things and we are so thorough and plus we have people helping us now. I just, you know, I was like, oh my God. They made it look like you wanted me gone too, in a very severe, evil way. And it took many years to figure this out, beloved. Because they were almost that good at disguising it, making it look like it was you. That, I, I can think of a few things that are more evil than that, but not many. Destroying relationships? trying to put a wedge in between somebody else, trying to make sure that they never see the light of God. Do you know, I'm going on a little religious thing here, but not religion as in religion, but as in godliness. Do you know what the price is that God says in his word for anybody that interferes with his hand, trying to reach out and get somebody saved so that they would recognize him as all the father? Oh, I wouldn't want to be you if you've done that. Mm -mm. Even though I am ticked off and mad and want restitution and want everything set right, and I, I can't say that I've been in love with you all the time because what you've done has been hateful and I've wrestled with this, I still offer the hand of friendship with guard <laughs> and with repentance and restitution fully, a public apology and everything fixed. I still also offer the hand of God and connecting you as best I can on a human level to you to him with salvation. Most people can't do that. Most people would hate your guts so much, and I'm not mentioning names of who it is, probably in this group, the they group. I still do it. Because I'm not gonna be found a hypocrite, number one. I'm not saying that I'm perfect. I wrestle with it because I'm like, God, really, they deserve salvation too? Yes, you do. Hear from my own mouth. God says, yes, the thieves on the cross 
Jesus in the middle, two thieves bookending him. God always gives the example of the wrong way and the right way. And the one thief on the cross, and Jesus said, you will be with me in paradise today because you, you let me into your heart. Nothing weird. They didn't have to give up being themselves. They just had to stop being deceitful, evil people. Some people, like there's an example, two thieves on the cross. The other one didn't want to give that up moments away they spent maybe lifetimes har harming people you are still worthy of salvation i am still giving everybody an opportunity to get on our side and to help us okay now i don't have to do that the law would be on my side saying i wouldn't have to do that but i am because i am that nice not even nice i'm just that good of a person not perfect i am not better than you but I do know what my frailties are. I do know what my strengths and my faults are. I know, I know this about me. I don't need y'all to tell me. You can, but I do know what they are. I know what I need to improve on with my technique. But you know what? I can say the same about you. Even the same critics who say things about me. Pull that plank out of your own eye first before you address my minor speck. That's what the Bible says. You know, you stand there on your high horse saying how how horrible, horrible, and people don't believe it. People know I'm a good dancer. They know I'm such a good dancer. They, they want me gone, and they want to copy me. I've seen people practice my choreography trying to emulate how I move, and then, you know, they beat themselves up because they can't do it. Some of it was inadvertently caught on somebody's cell phone, okay? So I don't understand this. That is love. That is what God requires of me and all Christians and really all people. He puts it there before you. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna choose? You know, I've had some people choose this bondage. Also, it's a nice yoga stretch. <sighs> but really, why? It doesn't hurt me, it hurts you. After all I've sacrifice so no more sacrifice i'm strong and i'm presenting options that's all i can do for you and you know what i can like i said i can turn these emotions on and off i've gotten so good at it my skin has gotten so strong against all of this stuff it's really pathetically ridiculous what one has to go through most people don't shame So I want you guys to think about this, decide. You're not gonna offend me if you choose to be against us. You're just gonna make your lives more harder and miserable because like I, we're gonna win. Not because I'm so against you. Obviously I was for you. There is no documentation that says I wasn't for somebody. Oh, but I will say if you behave badly, I made sure that, you know, I said this is what they did doesn't mean I don't love them, doesn't mean I won't give them another chance, but hey, you know, if you're going to disrespect me in public and shame me, and then in front of my board and then other people are saying it too, what am I supposed to do? Say, oh no, they're perfect, and then you come on board and then you cause problems? Then it's on me, so I have to be honest, you know? And not to disparage, but to say, hey, look, with that, but maybe it's not a big deal. Maybe that was, you know, we all can be on the rag. Men too. I wasn't just referring to women. So, you know, so let's try to work it out. I can't give you another opportunity because time is pretty much up. This is wrapping up. And I, I can only do what I can do. Again, we put it in somebody else's hands. Somebody who actually loves in a very professional sense. You know, you can love somebody professionally too and care about them. Let's put care. If you have a problem with the L word, you can care about them that much. That has become a taboo.
Hashtag that. Love the L word. It's interesting because I was talking about this many years before, you know, I think you know what I'm referring to. They turned that around. But that is the true L word. I gotta go. I could sit and gab with you for hours. <laughs> Dang. I really wish this didn't happen. I just, I, I'm just really stunned and shocked how, how deep, how far, how wide the swamp is. I just really, really never would have imagined it. <sighs> Thank you, Mr. Spelling. God rest your soul, hopefully. And, uh, yeah. So, beautifuls and beloveds, art integrity, art integrity, integrity in the arts, artists for integrity, and uh, all of that jazz. Bye. Signing off.